Hello everyone, this is Kathleen, Cat for short, and welcome to my vlog. So for today's episode, we're going to discuss Cleanser 101. So for Cleanser 101, ano nga bang pinaka-function talaga ni Cleanser? That is the first ever skincare na kailangan meron ka. For you to remove all the dirt, the nasty, the oily, the bacteria na meron sa face mo na nakuha during the times sa na nasa labas ka. And of course, not only that, even if kahit nasa indoors ka lang and naglagay ka ng sunscreen and moisturizer, syempre may mga oil pa rin din yan and dirt, so you still have to remove all those para hindi na siya mag-create ng additional um, skin conditions later on. So, paano ba natin masasabi na yung cleanser is um, okay for our um, skincare? First of all, ang kailangan mong tignan is it should be gentle to your skin. Kailangan i-avoid mo yung mga um, alcohols na ingredients kasi that's really harsh to your screen. skin. Ganyan. So, choose the products according to your skin type. Um, little to no fragrance and hypoallergenic. So, usually, alam nyo ba kung ano yung ingredients sa na nakakapag-foam nung, nung cleanser mo? It's the SLS and SLE. So, that's related more on the sulfate. Ganyan. So, for some, ayaw nila ng maraming ganun. So, as much as possible, isang SLS lang or isang SLE lang, ayaw nila ng dalawa kasi nakaka-irritate daw siya ng skin. But, according to some research, mas okay. Um, it really depends on the formulation. Hindi naman siya in general na ganun. So, just take note of that one. So, ang isa sa mga na-provide din ni... Um, ni cleanser is yung pH level. It's like your preparation then when you apply uh, the other layers of your skincare. Usually, ang pH level natin is between 1 to 14. So, that's your acidic to alkaline. And for the pH level, it should be on 4.5 to 5.5. Pag nag-exceed ka sa 5.5, most of the time, dyan mo na may experience yung pag-tight ng skin mo or drier na siya. So, medyo nakaka-irritate siya. So, as much as possible, dapat um, aligned siya dun sa pH um, level ng skin natin. Okay? Kasi, yun, the higher the pH, higher chances na mag-dry yung skin. Tapos, isa sa mga titignan din natin is fragrance-free. Pero, for some reason, bakit sabi fragrance-free pero pag ginamit mo siya, may amoy, right? Yung mga um, scents na ganun is mostly coming from an essential oils. Pero, yung mga essential oils na yan, especially with the Korean and European skincare, very minimal lang yung percentage niyan as mandated by their, uh, their government. So, most of the time, that's around 0.01 to 1% na essential oils. Then, pagka wash off naman, it's just around 2%. So, on a gentle cleanser, minsan ang tinitignan talaga natin dyan is consistency. If it is a gentle one, a thicker one, um, it's a foam one, ganon. So, merong ganon. Or the ingredients, of course, and the experience. I'll be sharing with you all the cleansers na nagamit ko na when I started to use Korean skincare products. Kasi previously, I've been using a rejuvenating set. Kaso parang as time goes by, parang mga 3 years ko din ginamit yung rejuve na yun. And then bigla na lang siyang hindi nag-work. Nagkaroon na ako ng mga um, pimples, bumps on, this, on the side of my um, chin, ganyan. So nag-stop na ang gumamit ng Rejuve na yun and then I tried to research all the um, skincare na kailangan ko. So, the first um, skincare that I have is the Cosar X Low PH um, Good Morning Gel Cleanser. It, it's very, very gentle and the main ingredient of that um, product is a tea leaf which is good for acne prone skin um, it really good for inflammatory and antibacterial plus it's it has a salicylate betaine which is derived for um, salicylic um, acid which is good for the exfoliation and then there are some botanical extracts as well there that's good and soothing for your um, skin as well so that's very a uh, very very gentle pwede siya day and night so, yun. and okay din yung pH level niya so hindi siya drying Pagka, after mo mag wash it's as if like um, andun pa rin na retain pa rin niya yung moisture niya right now na na try is this one uh, the low pH um, hydrating cleanser with hyaluronic acid plus multivitamins so for this one the main ingredients for um, this is meron siyang ceramides and then meron din siyang green tea leaf extract and then there is a glycerin which is good for your for the moisturize for the moisture rather and we also have the sodium PCA sodium chloride sodium lactate and then um 
this is one actually is related to the hyaluronic um, acid which is good for attracting moisture from the air so that's good as well and then Meron din siyang mga jojoba esters which is good for the moisture. Ito coffral acetate, that's for the vitamin E. And then ascorbyl palmitate, that's for the vitamin C naman. So, yan. Maganda din tong, tong product na to. And hindi siya nakaka-dry um, nakaka ng skin. It's very, very gentle as well. Just that, nag-stop ko na siyang gamitin kasi bumalik na ako sa mga Korean skincare products ko. So, that's one. And then, another product that I have right now is the Causar X Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. So, previously, dahil very acne-prone nga ako, daily ko talaga siya ginagamit every night. Ganyan. Kaso, medyo nag-worsen yung, yung acne ko. So, ang nung nagpa-check up na ako ng derm, in-stop ko muna siya and then yung yung cleanser na pinavide ng derm ako yung ginamit ko. Then I'm I'm just using this one every weekends as my exfoliating um skin care every Saturday and Sunday ng gabi as part of my daily cleanser. This is really good because the main ingredient for this one is salicylic acid with 0.5 lang. Usually, ang salicylic talaga have 2%. Pero, since this is a Korean brand, usually, ayaw nila ng masyadong harsh na product. So, for this one, it's only 0.5%. It, can, it, it really helps to um, gently whisk away impurities on the excess sub, sibong. 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 Ganyan. So, meron din siyang mga butylene glycol and glycerin. So, that's good for uh, moisturizing as well. Tsaka, pagka ginamit mo siya, hindi siya nakaka-dry. Yung parang nawalan na siya ng... Basta malinis. Yun yung pakiramdam. Very malinis siya pagka nilagay, nilagay mo siya. So, yun yung bet ko dito. Super bet. Yeah. Then, another one is matcha hemp cleanser. Hemp hydrating cleanser. So, for this one, ito yung very very much hook ako. Medyo pricey lang talaga siya pero super naka-help siya nung nag-dry yung skin ko nung gumagamit ako ng mga medicated na 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 acne products provided by my derma. So for this one, ang pinaka main ingredient kasi nito is green tea. That's your matcha. That's around 40%. Tapos meron din siyang um hemp si hemp seeds, oats, vitamin D5 and sodium PCH. PCA rather. So, maganda talaga siya for the skin. So, um, pag ginamit mo siya, parang hindi ka nag, nag ano, parang hindi, to, yung parang nalinisan yung face mo, sobrang lambot niya. Sobrang lambot talaga na very, yung it, totoo talaga yung hype. Kasi sa beauty industry, grabe yung hype nila dito. So, nung turn ko siya, sabi ko, ah, na-prove ko talaga na kaya pala siya mahal. Kasi ganun pala talaga siya kaganda. Ayan, so very helpful sa akin to pagkagabi. Kasi sa gabi ko lang to ginagamit. Medyo mahal kasi. So, tipit-tipit din. <laughs> Ayan, so yung next one naman is Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Low pH Cleansing Foam naman. So, for this one, um, ito ginagamit ko to sa morning since hindi naman ganun ka-harsh yung, yung product na ginagamit ko sa umaga. So, okay lang talaga siya na, ano, na, na gamitin. So, ang main ingredients kasi nyan is hyaluronic acid nga siya. So, it attracts moisture from the air. Tapos, ilalagay nyo siya sa skin mo para mag-bind. So, para may ma-retain yung moisture sa face mo. So, isa rin siya sa mga kilala or very popular na na cleanser kasi super ganda rin talaga niya. And, let me just um share with you kung ano yung mga ingredients niya, no? So, for the full ingredient list, this um, meron siyang sodium hyaluronate, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, hyaluronic acid, butylene glycol, beta glucan, panthenol, and ceramide. So those are all good for skin barrier. It will really make your skin healthy after. So it will not strip na magdo dry talaga yung skin mo kasi it really retains the moisture. Meron kasi siyang citric acid so it's good for anti-aging. So for the soothing naman, it has a centella asiatica so that's eight ex extract from um, Korea so that's good for soothing. And then we also have pantonol, pantenol and allantoin so that's good for your soothing and irritated skin so that's very good and so this is sulfate free cruelty free fragrance fragrance free pregnancy friendly non-comodogenic oil free and paraben free so ayan siya actually paubos na nga ito paubos na siya so meron na ako ng bigger one so i'm ready to i'm very excited to use it kasi ang laki-laki niya so mas mura lang kasi pagka malaki compared dito sa maliit ito pwede talaga siya for tester and travel size lang din talaga ito at least on a daily use, pwede mo siyang gawitin. 
Okay, so those are actually the water-based cleanser. Ngayon, aside from that, I do double cleanse kasi pagka lumalabas ako ng bahay, especially pagka naka-makeup ako. Kasi parang for me, it's not enough na gamitin mo lang yung mga water-based cleanser kasi parang hindi natatanggal lahat, especially with the makeup. That's an oil, oil-based makeup, de ba? So, ang kailangan na ginagawa ko pa, meron pa akong oil-based cleanser na ginagamit to melt down all the makeup bago ako mag-water-based. Um, my, my skincare is related to this one, Ionic Ionic Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. So, ang ginagawa niya dito is, ilalagay mo lang siya on your hand and then massage to your face and then neck para hanggang sa matunaw yung, yung, yung makeup mo. Then, wash with water and then followed by the water-based cleanser. Then, later, maramdaman mo na lang na wala ka na talagang makeup. Ganyan. And then, another one is vanilla ko. Actually, mas favorite ko to. Mas gusto ko tong vanilla ko um, zero. Ewan ko, yung feeling kasi pagka minamassage mo na siya, very parang, wala. Pero basta iba yung iba yung pakiramdam niya compared dito. I'm not against with this one. This is also good. Although for me, mas okay lang siya na nagre-remove ng product ay ng makeup on my face. So, you can still try it on. Since na mga tester lang din yung ginagamit ko. Tsaka, tagal niya maubos. Promise. Although, siguro dahil matagal din kasi akong um, hindi lumalabas ng araw-araw. Ganyan. So, ayun. And itong si going back sa calendula, there marami siyang mga oils dito. So, that's really good sa pag-remove ng mga makeups. Okay, para ensure mo na wala ng mga makeup, especially mga mascara, lipstick, yung mga waterproof na mga makeup. So, yun yung mga pangtanggal. Ayan. So, so far, yun actually yung mga um, um, cleanser that we have right now. Just to make sure na, na gamitin nyo yung mga um, cleansers that suits to your um, skin type. Don't forget to add and subscribe and if you have any concerns you want to review, just put on the comments and we'll review them. Thank you!